guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episode four of season two of Isekai Quartet. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Did y'all really learn anything in class, though? Seriously? Why don't you just review everything you learned in class? Oh my god, Aqua. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> True. Oh, man. What's up? Cute. 
<laughs> True, yeah, let's get back to helping Augusta. <laughs> No, cause... <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what everybody gets. <laughs> everybody oh, oh my god I am no Oh, God damn it. Don't look at Victoria's. Oh, shit. <laughs> Of course, Tanya, too. Oh, God damn it, Opera.
You drew something, didn't you? Oh my god, no! <laughs> I wanted to know what everybody got his answer. <laughs> I wanted to know the scores! <laughs> okay. We can all say for sure 100% Aqua fucking failed that damn test. <laughs> she wouldn't have failed if we all fucking know that shit. Oh, my stomach hurt. I <laughs> but what the fuck indeed with this episode? I mean, it was interesting to have a test, but the fact is that they were all, like, every question was, like, tender and I was like, what the fuck? Out of all the people, it was like, man. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking can't. I know, right, best girl? But what about Aqua, though? <laughs> so, okay, we just say a fuck Aqua. <laughs> because I had a feeling. I had a teeny tiny bit. Even when he was pulling it back, I was like, I have a weird feeling. It's just Pandora's actor's face. <laughs> what the fuck was his ass? <laughs> Oh my god! I fucking can't! <laughs> Bruh, this is so fucking good though. I mean, it was interesting just to see these <laughs> characters. Just to have a fucking test, especially, you know, for everybody who <laughs> out in the beginning. Who, oh, before, you know, when they were all still students and everything, before they got drawn into the Ethan Kai world and shit like that. Um, to just for one day, <laughs> just to see, even though the curly students now in a way. But honestly, it was interesting because, I mean, for Kazuma, Subaru, we can't really say the same for Tanya or even Ainz because they were adults in a way. I mean, because, like, yeah, from what I remember, because Tanya's a guy. It's been a long time so, since I got Tanya Evil, but yeah, I do, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were a guy and you got turned into a girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a he was a worker. Um, Tanya worked somewhere. I don't know where, but she was a business owner. And then you know she he got killed and turned into a little girl. Yeah. Um, Ains, I mean, because of the fact is because this was the one question that I kind of was wanting to know, especially when I started my over uh, overlord reaction, like literally almost a year ago, around sometime after this time and stuff because I was thinking that they were gonna go into Ainz's backstory about how he was and I was so excited after episode one I was like oh my god we might get that backstory on him and everybody was like no you're not getting that DJ and I was like what the fuck are you fucking kidding me because I had like with Wasaga time the evil and the one thing that I loved about it 100% is that like in that first episode or really like the first two episodes you got to see everything before, you know, he became a she. And so when I went into Overlord, I was expecting that maybe, like, not all the way up into season one, maybe, like, towards the end of season one going into season two. But when I got to, like, episode one going on, episode two going to three and four, and I didn't get it, even though I was already told between going from one to two to three to four that I wasn't going to get it, yeah, I was still pissed about it because Ainz is such a very interesting, complex character, and I really wanted to know a lot more about him. And 
I felt like I got fucked over by it, like, really, really bad. But I get the fact that sometimes, you know, there are some art there is, and then the way um, translating stuff from light novel to anime or manga to anime, that learning about a character's backstory is not always important, but if you want someone to relate to that character, sometimes you want to do that. And let, let's just say, like, if, because, like, I've been hearing things, like, ever since I finished The Overlord, that supposedly we're getting another season and if we do get another season i would like for them to do kind of a little bit more backstory on him i'm just saying it's something that i personally truly want but if they don't it's okay i mean somebody could just probably make a <laughs> write a big ass passage of um as much as they want to tell me about irons before you know everything happens to him but yeah other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Futurist episode 4 of season 2 of Isekai Quartet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 5. Bye, guys.